Hi friends, my name is Ansha and I'm an educator of an academy and you can follow me on our website www.anacademy.com or you can download the Anacademy learning app where you can find my other courses as well. And in this lesson, uh, we'll see how to decrypt 3x3 three three matrices using Hell Cipher. So if you like my lesson and if it helped you, please rate, recommend and review and please subscribe to the YouTube channel. So in the previous lesson, we learned how to encrypt using Hell Cipher in case of 3x3 three three matrices. So in this lesson, we are going to see how to decrypt the same. Okay. So uh, in the previous lesson, we encrypted this message, this plain text, safe messages using the key ciphering into this, this text, H-D-S-I-O-E-Y-Q-O-C-A-A. So this was the cipher text that we got in the end, okay? So uh, in this lesson, we are going to see how to decrypt this cipher text into the original message using the same key, okay? So to encrypt, this was our formula, C equal to KP mode 26, but uh, to decrypt, we are using this formula, again the same for all square matrices, for all, all cases in Hill cipher, we are using the same formula. So uh, the only difference is that when it is 2 by 2 matrices, the operations can be a um, the, when the matrix becomes large, it can be a bit uh, different or it can become a little uh, tricky, okay? So that's the only difference. So uh, the equation or the formula are all the same. Okay, so this, the, this is the formula to find the original message, okay? To find the plain text, uh, this is the formula K inverse into C mode 26. What is K inverse? The inverse of matrix K, okay? Then C is the cipher, which is this. Okay, which is this and this is the key. So we need to find the inverse of this matrix. Okay, so what is the equation to find the inverse? So this is the equation to find the inverse 1 by this mode D adjoint of K. So what is this D? It is the determinant and adjoint we need to find. Okay, so um, this is the cipher and this is the key. Now to find the decryption key that is K inverse, we are following a number of steps. So first step is to find the determinant of the matrix. So first find the determinant of the matrix. So in case of 2 by 2 matrices, it was very easy to find the determinant just uh, across multiplication and subtraction. Okay. So here it's again it's easy. So uh, see this example. If the matrix is like this A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. This is the matrix. So uh, in that case to find the determinant, this is the equation A into EI minus HF. So if this was, it's like uh, if it was a separate 2 by 2 matrix. Okay, so it's nothing just you, um, it's just you take the first element of first row and so you cut the first column and first row and take A, so A here, then after cutting these two, uh, this uh, row, row and column, then EI minus HF. Okay, so minus B into, then you cut this row and this column, DI into GF, okay, DI minus GF, sorry. Then you take C and you cut this row and this column, then DH minus GE, okay. So that is how you find the determinant of matrix, 3 by 3 matrix. And it is important that here we will have a minus here minus then plus it's like alternative plus and minus so first we have plus then we have minus then we have plus okay like that so uh, you cut the first row and first column first element ei minus hf then you take the second element so cut the first row and the second column then di minus gf then you take c so cut this row this column so dh minus ge so it's simple now okay so uh, that is how you find the determinant of 3 by 3 matrix. Now when you find, so this is the key here, key matrix here. So uh, when you apply this equation, you will get like, um, first you take 2, 2 into 4 into 6 minus 13 into 7 minus 8 into 7 into 6 minus 8 into 17 plus 15 into cut this, cut this, then 7 into 13 minus 8 into 4. So when you do the calculation, you will get 1, 2, 4, 3. Okay, now the second step is to find the multiplicative inverse of the determinant. So what is the determinant? 1, 2, 4, 3. It's a large number. So uh, when, you find, when you find the multiplicative inverse of this number, which we uh, discussed in detail in last lesson, 
in the decryption part of 2 by 2 matrices we discussed that in detail so when you use trial and error method and find this uh, multiplicative inverse you will get 5 here so um, 1 2 4 3 into 5 more 26 will be equal to 1 so that is the multiplicative inverse here so uh, we found the determinant and then we found the multiplicative inverse of determinant okay so next step is to find the adjoint of the matrix why because the equation to find the inverse of a matrix was this to find k inverse we need to find adjoint of k and we need to have this determinant and it's uh, which we found the determinant then to uh, then we found the multiplicative inverse so that we can directly multiply to adjoint matrix okay so we found determinant and we found the adjoint so this term is clear now it's uh, it's 5 here okay now what what we need to find is adjoint of k now to find adjoint of a 3 by 3 matrix there are two steps first you need to find the cofactor matrix and then you need to find the transpose of that matrix okay it's not that tough it's actually very simple so uh, to find the cofactor matrix here k is this 2 8 15 7 4 17 8 13 6 6 okay so um, before you start the calculation and uh, find the cofactor matrix there is a simple trick that you can use so uh, before you put values in this matrix you can put signs in this matrix okay so first you put uh, minus sorry plus minus plus then minus plus minus then plus minus plus okay so you first put these values so it will be a lot more easier and it is not that difficult to remember is it okay so you just remember this alternative plus and minus okay plus minus plus minus plus minus plus minus plus okay simple now okay so you start with plus and then alternative okay alternate signs okay now um, to find the first element here first you take the first row so uh, you cut the first row and the first column then you do cross multiplication and then subtraction okay 4 into 6 minus 13 into 17 will get uh, minus 197 now to find the next element again it's a uh, first we are finding now we are finding the first uh, row, elements of first row so you cut the first row always and then to find the element of first column and first row you cut first row and first column here so we got minus 197 okay now to find this element you cut the first row and second column so first row second column okay now you do the cross multiplication and then subtraction 7 into 6 minus 8 into 17 which will get uh, minus 94 so that is the value here and then to find this element which is third column so you cut the first row and third column then cross multiplication 7 into 13 minus 8 into 4 will get 59 so now we can put the values here so this is minus 197 and it is plus there so so it will become negative now uh, we have minus 94 and there is already a minus so minus minus becomes what plus so we'll get 94 here then we have 59 so we have plus here so it's positive okay so we got the first row of the cofactor matrix and then let's find the elements of this this row okay second row so to find the first element which is first column so we need to cut the second row and first column and do the cross multiplication so 8 into 6 minus 13 into 15 we'll get minus 147 and next next uh, cut second column and second row we'll get 2 into 6 minus 8 into 15 minus 108 then second row third column 2 into 13 minus 8 into 8 minus 38 now we have minus 147 here there is already a minus so it will become plus and then we have minus 108 it is plus there so plus minus becomes what minus so minus 108 then we have minus 38 and there is already a minus so minus minus becomes what plus so we will get 38 here so we found the first row and second row of the cofactor matrix and now to find the third row 
you cut the third row and first column 8 into 17 minus 4 into 15 will get what 76 then you cut the third row and second column 2 into 17 minus 7 into 15 will get minus 71 and then third column third row 2 into 4 minus 7 into 8 minus 48 okay now when you put the values so we have 76 here and there is already a plus so it becomes what 76 itself and then we have minus 71 and there is already a minus so it will become positive because minus minus becomes what plus okay so 71 then we have minus 48 and there is a plus there so plus minus becomes what minus itself now this is the cofactor matrix okay so this is the cofactor matrix and now to find the adjoint uh, we found cofactor matrix and then we need to find the transpose of that matrix. So this is the cofactor matrix. Now how to find the transpose of matrix? Nothing but just interchange the rows and columns. So this is first row, minus 197, 94, 59. So you write it as the first column. Okay, you change this into column. Now the second row is also changed to column and third row is also changed to column. Okay, so this is the transpose of cofactor matrix now this is our adjoint matrix okay so we found the adjoint and we found the determinant and then it's multiplicative inverse so now we can find the inverse of the matrix okay so here adjoint of k is this now uh, we have some negative values here so to uh, remove the negative sign we can add 26 n times to the negative numbers so that we are any how we are going to do modulo 26 so it it doesn't really make any difference so you can try it so um so you add 26 to this negative number until it becomes a positive number okay so when you add uh, 7 into 26 then only this number becomes a positive number so um i'll add 7 into 26 to this negative number so i'll get 11 and then the positive numbers we don't need to change okay so 147 76 and then for 108 we need to sorry uh, here here it will be 5 so 5 into 26 we'll get what uh, when you 130 so minus 108 plus 130 we'll get what 22 and for this also we need to do the same okay so uh, now we have all positive numbers now multiply this with the multiplicative inverse of the determinant to get the inverse so 5 into this uh, elements will get these values okay so we got the multiplicative inverse now it's uh, modulo 26 to to uh, simplify this okay so you so you find the modulo 26 of these numbers so we'll get 3 7 16 2 6 17 9 8 and 20 now now this is the decryption key that is k inverse now what is the equation k inverse c mod 26 to find the plain text so this is the cipher text so uh, first trigraph is this so uh, the corresponding uh, numbers are this so you do the matrix multiplication so you will get these numbers then when you do modulus operation you will get these numbers now the corresponding alphabets are s a f okay 18 s uh, 0 a 5 f s a f now for this we will get uh, you do the same same operation you will get this result you can try it it's not uh, it's, there is no difference first you need to convert this into integers and then you need to do the matrix multiplication after applying this on this formula k k inverse and c on this form formula and then uh, you are, uh, do the modulus operation you will get this okay uh, so do the same for the remaining trigraphs also so for y q o we'll get s s a and for c a a you'll get g e s so the whole thing becomes safe messages which was a original plain text okay is that clear okay there is nothing difficult about it it's just the calculations the matrix operations okay so the cipher text became original plain text okay thank you